driving down from Sanchi right now and I'm driving the brand new Kia Sonnet. This updated version of the Sonnet has ADAS Level 1. ADAS is uh, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, including Lane Keeping Assist and Collision Warning Systems and Automatic Emergency Braking. So in case there's a pedestrian or another obstacle on the road, uh, the car will brake itself. However, these systems have attracted a fair bit of controversy in the past few months. In this video, I'll try and explain why that is so. So what is the controversy all about? Well, let's start with the Mahindra Scorpio N which was recently crash tested under the Australasian New Car Assessment Program or NCAP. In this test, the Mahindra Scorpio N scored zero stars, not because the car was structurally unsafe, but because it did not have active safety systems, which is what ADAS really is, active safety, particularly automatic emergency braking. The lack of such a system meant the Scorpio N scored just zero stars. But is a lack of active safety systems unfair on cheaper cars? Maruti Chairman R.C. Bhargav has often said that we need to do more to improve our driving habits and road infrastructure before loading cars with more safety systems, including airbags, which just add costs to vehicles. He has a point, but it is also true that the addition of safety systems makes car passengers and drivers safer in the case of an accident. The Bharat New Car Assessment Program currently does not mandate ADAS or automatic emergency braking on vehicles. But it is likely that a future version of BNCAP might mandate automatic emergency braking. However, does automatic emergency braking always work? Well, it does reduce the speed of a car even if it does not completely stop a car. And this can mitigate injuries to pedestrians and cyclists as well as other road users. Our active safety features on mass market cars, which are sold at high scale and high volume, a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I think here it's the fundamental question is awareness and what those systems do for you and how they operate. So you get a feel and a sense of what they're doing. And I think a lot of people, a majority of consumers don't have an idea of how active safety systems work, whether it's the active braking system, whether it's even lane keep, uh, lane assist systems for that matter, they don't even realize that. So even when you know you get that feedback on your steering wheel that restricts you from changing lane or when the braking system comes on, I think that's a concern for most consumers of those systems. However, having said that, an easier way to deploy this would be to offer this mandatorily on every single car so that the vehicles behind you, in case of active braking, what we're hearing a lot of is that people behind the vehicle don't realize their car ahead of them or you know is going to stop or is going to brake that hard uh, that early on. And that effectively leads to a few mishaps and you know irate drivers or irate uh, riders uh, for those vehicles behind. And I think if everything has that, if that commonality is brought about, it will become a much more practical feature for everyone. So you heard Bertrand over there and you heard me before. So what do you think about these advanced driver assistance systems? Are you going to consider buying a car with one of these features like this Kia Sonnet over here or the Kia Seltos or the new Hyundai Creta or the Tata Harrier or Safari as we keep on mentioning? Do you think you would want automatic emergency braking or would you disable it if you had it on your car? There are lots of thoughts over here. Please leave your thoughts in the comments and be sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos at the print. 
We'll be doing a lot more automotive content going forward and we appreciate your viewing this video. Thank you very much.